Okay. Well, I figured it out. There's a whole other row of stuff up here, and I hit uh, home. Uh, links up here at the top right on this zone net. And then you get quick setup, general setup, status, tools. Same thing up here. Home, general setup, quick setup, status, tools. So I couldn't, you know, I couldn't uh, get out. I was just in one section. So, configuration tools. Backup. That's what I wanted to do. And it'll save it with a, you know, default name, config bin, and then you can rename it. And I can't get back into it from the other machine now, just like I thought. Uh, it stay, they stay on the router until you re disconnect and reconnect. And then, uh, and it saved it. So now I'm going to say open containing folder. Doesn't have an application set to do it. Should. Well, I'll just. I know where it went, so. Well, hang on. I won't close that yet. Ah, okay. That's the downloads thing. So, um. I could just get to. I know it's in downloads. Yep. There it is. Config bin. So I just need to name that, and then I'll be good. And but I, what I like to do is save it on you know like I like to save it on both of these machines I didn't have it saved on this machine just the other one so I had to get that other one to work so um, there we go and then the firmware upgrade which I don't think there is I mean I've got the latest firmware of course there's not hadn't been any uh, coming out for these routers in years I don't even make them anymore but. I don't think you can put WR, WDRT or anything on the on this router, but uh, yeah, there we go. I want to get out of that reset area? That's where you could re you could jack it up. All this work I just did. So uh, anyway, that's all I wanted to show. Note to self, and this one I went somewhere. Oh, I tried to go to Google.com google.com and it didn't go there so now I'm kind of wondering about that http google.com I wonder if it's not going there I think Google only uses https now but that should just change it over it's just sitting there thinking still like it's trying to get there didn't give an error or anything hit stop oh well that go to the the Bain website again it's went there before I don't guess it's messed up Maybe. Well, it's not, not even trying to go there. This machine could be acting up again. Let's see. Planet Debane is where I went a while ago. Or I think it's their like online magazine or something. Now it's not even changing. Go back a couple. See if I can get somewhere else. There it is. PlanetDeBane.org. I wonder if it quit working. I don't think the machine's messed up. I think it's still okay. Yeah, it's not locked up or anything. This machine, it could be acting up, though. It could be that the, uh, you know, like the NIC card's not working good or something. I don't know what to do. Let's see. I think I'll disconnect and reconnect again. I have. I was thinking I'd hook them up, but it's already it's getting late now. I mean, as far as getting dark and mosquitoes coming out, but I don't know if you can see them with all this light. But these right here have these two little WISC wind terms, and I think I just have like a server I was trying out on one, but the other one I have Puppy Linux because. They have the strangest thing. Uh, they don't have hard drives. They have um, IDE SD cards, basically. They have uh, flash memory chips on IDE cards that plug into the IDE ports. And uh, but it's only 512 megabytes. They used to run, uh, uh, it's called WinTerm. That's what it says on there. WinTerm. Um, 
guess I could turn the phone up. Yeah, I think it'll stay that way I turn it. Wind term uh, is Windows XP, a mini XP. And uh, I took that off, you know, because XP is so outdated. And uh, anyway, the, the, there's very few distro, Linux distros that are small enough to fit on five and run and have any space left on 512 megabytes. Uh, but I put uh, Puppy Linux only took up like 265 megabytes or something, and, and it works good. I just don't, it's not my kind of Linux. I like Fedora Linux, and Devane's alright. I like Devane too. But, uh, I don't know why. Oh, I, I disabled and re enabled networking, and now it's not, it didn't, it didn't, uh, it didn't hook up. I may already be having trouble, you know. I changed that channel. I wonder if that threw it off. When I change the channel <coughs> in the, on the everything was fine. Let's see. I don't think there's a way to it could have. This one's still hooked up to the disconnected. It said the network's been disconnected. Let's see what channel was it on a while ago? Six or something? Hmm. Basic settings. That shouldn't have messed it up. I can always well I'll just put it back on six for a minute and see. I think that's where it was. I don't see why that would make any difference. That shouldn't have anything to do with Shouldn't have anything to do with, uh, I mean, putting it up on uh, 11 could have caused it to just not work at all. That's one thing. Now, <clears throat> well, that's getting rebooted. It reboots the router every time you do that. I know this looks terrible. Somebody is evidently cooking on the barbecue grill. It's our first pretty day in a couple of weeks, so I guess everybody's going outside. That smells good. Okay, enable, I mean disable, enable. That's one of the things that's cool about Linux. It's easy to reconnect. You don't, you hardly ever have to reboot uh, if you have a network. If you need to, you know, reset the network connection, you can just, dis it, even though it says, it's, if it's, even though it says it's connected but it's not working, just disconnect and reconnect and it usually fixes it. Except for out here <laughs> with this router. I don't think that had anything to do with it. I don't think it's going to connect. It's taking too long. Okay, so uh, watch it work, and I'll mess it up. But I'm going to look at my site survey over here on this one. I want to see if it's still selected the one I want. It didn't work. It says get connected again. It's not connected to anything. So when I changed the channel, I must have did that. So I'm going to put it on channel 11, apply. And then try reconnecting to the, uh, and then again, it could be that it lost connection because that signal's weak. I may not be able to use my TP link at all. Because that's what it does on the phones. It'll work and then not work. I think it's just so weak that it's, uh, it's vulnerable to uh, interference. Somebody has an open router. Belkin B93. It says guess. I wonder who, but it must be one of those businesses behind me. Well, it might be because there's a. I don't know what it is, but there's a. There's a business behind me that somebody else had it, and they closed down, and then they their their house. They used to be houses where people live, but they're on the service road and so now they're they're com they're zone commercial and and home both now and uh, or they were last time I knew about it but anyway um, somebody I saw a sign up from my back I can look at my back window and I saw it said the grand opening they had up I don't, so I don't know what it is I haven't even 
uh, found out what it is, what what it is. But uh, somebody opened up something new, so maybe they have a guest network for, for their people, their customers. But uh, I can hook up to it and make it stronger. It's way on down on the uh, list there. Mode signal. I don't know what that means. Signal what? Is that signal strength? No, because and it's not. It's there's your type. Eleven BGN. They're all BGNs except for that one. That one's a BG. And that one doesn't have a SSID, but it has security. But there's one that's open. Okay, back to my business here. Uh. I just now noticed that. I didn't see that a while ago. Where is it? You know what? I don't think I see my router now. It's gone. My TP link is gone. Shoot. But now I wouldn't want to hook up to theirs. I just That would be bad for me. That would open up my network to everybody on that guest network. That's what's wrong. My router's it, my router signal's weak out here, weaker than the neighbors. Just because it's going through the house, I think I'll close this. Well, if it's not going to work, it's not going to work. Yeah, there's my Linksys. That's why I had it on the Linksys because it wouldn't work. I think I will close this and try and open it up again. Sometimes it acts differently when you do that. Okay. Yeah, now let's look at the site survey again. It's still, it's still selected TP-Link. Okay, but if the TP-Link's not showing up to this router on the site survey, then you're not going to connect to it. Now there's two without um, three. See, it changes. So the weaker ones come and go is what happens. But yeah, mine's not. My TP link's not even showing. I refresh it, and then I'll try again over here. But I, I'm, that's why it's not working. I'm glad I figured that out. Oh yeah, it's not even hooked up. It didn't hook up. Okay. So I was fine though until I changed the channel. I wonder if I should uh, leave it, put it back on six. Let's try that. Maybe that's what's making it not connect. See, I fixed it when it wasn't broke. So I'm gonna go back to channel six and see if it shows up. That's pretty close to where my I think my TP link is on six or eight, something in, right in there between six and eight. So maybe it was it was actually better to be on the same channel when it's uh, repeating the signal. It would make sense, wouldn't it? It might need to be on the exact same channel. Probably not. But no, it wouldn't, I don't think. I don't think. We'll see. I don't, I don't think I could tell exactly what channel it's on without going in there and getting on it. But that other machine didn't connect. But let's see if it shows up now. <coughs> Yeah, my WISC's the, uh, I couldn't find the power supplies for like, it shows up for like two years. And the other day I finally found them. Up there, see that stack of red coffee cans? The bottom on the right, the blue one with the yellow note, yellow sticky notes, what that is. That says on it, WISC power supplies. They're brick power supplies like a laptop. Okay, so I got to leave that on that channel then. TP link. Okay. I think it'll be all right now. Hit apply. It was okay a while ago. So that's something I never knew. I didn't know they had to be either on the same channel or close enough in channel range to work. They may have to be on the exact same channel. I don't really remember what channel my TP link's on. I just know it's in that range from looking at that uh, Wi-Fi, real-time Wi-Fi map app a while ago. Okay. Now let's see. 
I'll right click so you see even though it says it's enabled it won't uh, it's, this machine doesn't reset automatically very well the Wi-Fi it, this is an older version of the bang but all the newer versions of Linux uh, there we go all the newer versions of Linux will um, <coughs> will reset anytime there's connection they'll keep trying to connect again there we go glad I didn't uh, disconnect that from the router until everything was set so Again, note to self, you can connect to the TP-Link just fine. See, I didn't think it would do it. Uh, it must have been because I didn't have them on the... And maybe they have to be on the section. Well, that says Channel 7. You know what? I wonder if... I must have just slipped. And they got 7 instead of 6. But it's working, so I'm not going to fix it again. Let's just see how this one works. Anyway, I want to hook up the WYC power supply so that I can use them when I want to out here. Get them down, I mean, and hook, and hook them up. But it's getting dark now. I mean, I can see in here, but I'm afraid the mosquitoes will chew me up. And I'm getting hungry. Okay, let's see. I want to try a different website, though. There we go. Well, I came in good and quick, too. Seventy four degrees. I'm trying to see yeah, weather.com. I like the weather.com. Oh it, why didn't it work? Mm -hmm. Maybe I was gonna I know that uh, I wonder if it lost connection again. Could have. bookmarks try to go to that search again no that's okay I don't know why that huh I don't understand that at all that going there but it's not working good yeah these I don't think I have Java on these machines uh, I mean Java or uh, Flash. I think I, I don't own one of them, and the other one I do. But then they, they wouldn't. Then they, they can't really run. You know, they just can't handle all that. Yeah, see, that doesn't come in right because it doesn't have enough the plugins for that page. These pages like this are heavy with Java and Flash. But uh, you can actually see. I don't know that one. Maybe that, maybe that, uh, I have trouble with that uh, weather.com, I like it, but I have trouble with it on my regular machines. Some will, some things on there will work. The videos won't play in one browser and they will in the other. Uh, actually, because of the ad blockers I think I have in one, but uh, anyway. You can see the temperature just by doing that. That's all I really wanted to see. So, uh. Went to Debane a lot the last time I was on here. Let's see if that page still comes in good. Yep. Okay, now I think I'll try. I have my... If I go to my real URL, I mean my, yeah, my, 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 I mean my domain name, donsons.com, then it'll go to my website. See, so I thought, hey, uh, I have my uh, speakers. I've got some car speakers hanging up there, and uh, my Harman Harman Kardon app that I used to use in the house. It uh, amp, not app, amp. Uh, hooked up there so I wanted to see what the sound was like it uh, I used it for like probably 16 years day and night left it on and uh, it finally got to where I think the caps are getting tired the capacitors I want to bookmark that you can do by 
by uh, sections in there. So uh, I don't know if it'll play it or not. We'll see. These are MP3s. I know it, see there's no flash, so that's not coming up right there. It won't play the. Uh, I don't think it'll play the archive.org page. It might work. Yep. See if I can hear both speakers. I think I'm only getting one speaker. Yeah, it's acting up. didn't want to come in I don't know it could be the wiring that balance is really I sprayed it with cleaner I'm gonna bet I'm gonna bet <coughs> there's a wire got knocked loose or something, but I can't see them without crawling up there. Okay, so I got internet, and that's streaming from the internet, so I can stream music. So that's cool. So that means it's got a good, good enough bandwidth and everything. So I'll just leave that set up like that. Okay, well this is done, and uh, hopefully this will keep working, and then when I come out here, I used to, I could pretty well depend on it, I hardly, didn't have problems too often, but now, uh, every time I go out, come out here, I had it working last time, it don't work the next time, well, that's my website, donsongs.com, you can uh, listen and download for free if you want, if you like the music, alright, it's done, bye bye.